Yo gang, welcome to your 8th REST API tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about MongoDB models and schemas. So first of all models, what are models? Well basically they're a way for us to represent our collections in MongoDB, right? So imagine we have a collection of users, we'd create a model in our code to represent that collection of users in MongoDB and that model would be called the user model, right? Or, more specifically to the application we're going to be making, we have a collection of ninjas in MongoDB and we'll create a ninja model to represent that collection of ninjas, right? And you can think of a collection in MongoDB as, for example, like a table in SQL, right? It's just a series of data. It represents a single model. So, models work hand in hand with schemas and schemas define the structure of the objects within our collection, right? So imagine we have that collection of ninja objects and each object in that collection has a series of properties, name, rank, availability. Our schema defines the structure of these properties and it says whether it's going to be a string like the name of rank or a boolean or a number or something else. Okay, So it defines how each object which is going to be stored in this collection is going to look. So if we put these two together, we have our collection over here of ninjas, which is represented in our code by a model, a ninja model, right? And in this collection, we have a series of records or objects, and each one represents a single ninja. And they've all got a unique ID. This ID is what separates them on the top level. So when we come to find them later on, we can use that unique ID to find them. OK, and this is something that is automatically given to each object as we save it to the database. So if we open up one of these ninja objects, our schema is what governs the inside of it. It says how it's going to be structured, like we said. The name is a string, the rank is a string, availability is a boolean. It could have other objects such as age, which is a number, things like that. So our schema is defining the structure. OK, our model represents the collection. So. We're going to be installing Mongoose to help us interact with the database. And what Mongoose does is it adds a layer of methods to easily save, edit, retrieve and delete data from MongoDB. It's going to make our life much easier. And it also allows us to create these models and schemas very easily too. So the idea is that we use Mongoose and the methods it provides us to create a model and a schema for our Ninja objects in our API code. Then when we receive data from a post request from another source to our API, we can take that data, we can create a new Ninja object using the Ninja schema and model that we create and then send it off to the relevant collection in MongoDB. So we're going to jump into the code now and we're going to do that. But if you want to learn more about models and schemas first, check out my MongoDB for beginners playlist. I'm going to leave the link down below. I go into these things in more detail in that series. OK, so the first thing we need to do is install the Mongoose package. So to do that, make sure you're in the right directory in your command line tool and type npm install Mongoose and we're going to save it to our dependencies. So that's going to go out and grab the files and install it for you. OK, so once that's installed, we can go ahead and create our model and schema now. But whereabouts are we going to create it? Well, we could create it in the index if we wanted to, but I like to keep things separate and modular. So what we're going to do is create a new file, uh, sorry, a new folder on the top level called models. And inside this folder, we're going to create a new file. And this is going to be called ninja.js. OK, so this is going to represent our ninja model in here. So the first thing we want to do is require mongoose because we're going to use mongoose in this file. So I'll say const mongoose set that equal to require then in parenthesis mongoose okay the next thing we want is a variable to store our schema class in so i'm going to say const schema and i'm going to set that equal to mongoose dot schema okay so now we're going to use this thing right here first of all to create our schema how is our data going to be structured so I'm going to pop a little comment down here saying create ninja schema and model, first of all. And then I'm going to say const ninja schema. This is going to be a constant, let's just spell it correctly, that we're going to store our schema in. And I'm going to set that equal to a new schema right here. And remember, I don't know why I keep putting X instead of C, 
schema is this thing right here. So we're saying we want a new schema, all right? So inside the schema, we're gonna define how our objects are gonna look. So the first property I want our ninjas to have is a name property. And inside this, I'm gonna do another curly brace. I know I said we could do something like this, string, okay? But I also wanna add another option. And when we're adding multiple options, we need to provide them in an object like this. So first of all, the type is gonna be string, like so. And then it's also going to be required. And we're gonna say, true if it wasn't required then we can say false okay so we're setting this to be required and then what we're going to do is pass back a little message which is going to provide some feedback if you like if this doesn't validate correctly so if they've not passed along a name property so we'll say name field is required okay and we'll delve into that a little bit more later on for now we're just going to pass this message in so now we've defined our name Let's move on to the rank, and this is gonna be a string as well. For example, black belt or blue belt. But again, what I wanna do is pass this in an object just in case we add any more kind of properties to it, such as the required field later on. So we'll say type is string, okay? Okay, the third one we want is available. So this is gonna be a Boolean, but again, I'm gonna pass it through as an object. I'm gonna say type is Boolean. So that's true or false. And then I'm gonna set a default to false, okay? So if they don't specifically say that the availability is true, they don't pass that through, then it's gonna to default to false when we create a new ninja. Make sense? Okay, so that there is our schema. What I'm also gonna do is put a little comment down here saying add in geo location because what we're gonna do later is add in another property which is gonna govern the geolocation of our ninja. So when you put in, for example, your uh, latitude and longitude, when you send a request, it's gonna return ninjas only within a certain radius. So we're gonna add in that geolocation data where the ninja is basically later on. Awesome, so that's our ninja schema now. We've got our structure defined of how our ninja objects are gonna look, all right? Now what we wanna do is create a model, a ninja model, which is gonna represent our collection in the database. So down here, the way we do that is by saying const ninja. This is the name of our model. And typically, we give these capital letters to begin with. I'm gonna set that equal to mongoose, which we required up here, dot model. And then what we're gonna do is pass through a name of our collection, okay? So this is gonna be the collection in the database. So the ninja model will represent the ninja's collection. And what Mongoose is gonna do is pluralize this for us, okay? It's gonna create a table, or rather not a table because it's no SQL, a collection called ninjas. Not ninja, ninjas. So next we wanna say we want the objects within this collection to be structured based on this ninja schema. So we're gonna pass in our schema next. We'll say ninja schema. And there we go, we have created our model, dead simple. So finally, what we wanna do is export this model so that we can use it in other files. Specifically, when we come to do our routes in more detail, for example, when we come to post and create a new Ninja, we're gonna need access to this model. So we're gonna to have to export it in this file right here so we can access it in other files later on. So we'll say module.exports is equal to Ninja. Cool. So there we go, we have created our ninja schema and we have created our ninja model. And we have exported this model so we can use it in other files. So in the next lesson, what we're gonna do is actually connect to MongoDB and we're gonna use this model to create ninja objects from our post request and then save them to the database.